So, next speaker is Fernando Tejado. from Spain, and he, dis he discovered WordPress 18 years ago. WordPress is only 20 years old, so yes, from the beginning. Pretty old. <laughs> and has dedicated his work to being a WordPress teacher, a blogger, a writer, a speaker, and developer. He provides WordPress and WooCommerce online courses, consulting, and web maintenance services. He's responsible for the leading Spanish blog about WordPress called ayudawp.com. Check it out. And he is a brand ambassador for SiteGround. Um, I welcome Fernando to Rehumanizing the Web. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Very, very proud to, to see a lot of people here and to, to spend some time with me this morning. I'm going to to talk about a story uh, that began no less than 3.2 million years ago. From today or not? I don't know. I don't know. At this moment, it's going to be this long history from too much long to today. I think we all know who is this. Do someone? His name is? Flexibly, Lucy. Recognized as one of the first ancestors, Lucy died around 3.2 million years ago when she fell out of the tree. That is the supposed to. And what we know is San Ethipio, Ethipia. And she belongs to uh, what is known as Astralopite Astralopithecus afarensis. You know? Her bones uh, were discovered in 1974, and she's considered the grandmother of mankind. Or follow we. Also, there have been later discoveries like Childs and so on. Uh, what made Lucy and her contemporaries different from other hominids is uh, that due to her fossil structure, she walked upright in the first one. And we could have been, could have been an evolutionary, uh, a nutritional advantage, and she has not access to more food, among the other improvements like for example, the opposable uh, thumb, and so on. Okay. Any know now what is this? A stone? It's a rock? No? Yes, but it has some peculiarities. Uh, it is known as a chopper. Uh, and was found in Oldu Valley, Bali, uh, Oldu Pay in Maasai languages, uh, in Africa in 1931. It's dated uh, 1.8 million years ago. And early humans in Africa, in East, East Africa, used their hammerstone uh, in order to strike stones and produce sharp flakes. That's what that's, they call the name of choppers, the chops. Okay? They use these stone tools for a variety of purpose including extracting meat from and bone arrows from large animals like antelopes and so on. Flakes were removed uh, from this stone core, uh, creating a surface. Imagine using this kind of chop uh, through the shoulder of an antelope or so on. This early stone age chopper, chopper is the oldest human-made artifact known. But what I say is the oldest human made artifact. Excuse me. Why not this other ape? All of we are not all too all about apes. Why do we know that Chopper was created by an ancient human and not an ape? And some cute ape, for example. We know all, all of we know that apes could be really clever. They can use all kinds of tools, uh, including stones, and can analyze situations and develop solutions to every kind of problems, or almost every kind of problem. They are even very clever, uh, they are very clever apes, apes that learn routines, basic routines, but routines. Uh, the most clever or one of or, or apes 
can be taught to imitate anything. Imitate, but imitate anything. Uh, and to use almost any tool. They can even discover tools for their own, by their own, as uh, recently proven that uh, use natural medicines, for example, to cure bones themselves. This is very recent, recent but it's how I found recently that they can do it, these kind of things, discover medicines for themselves. Plus, they are so cute. Everyone loves apes. But can apes think, really think? This is not a nomocentric uh, or anything like that. Uh, we are simply going to refer to apes, OK? Also, they have charisma to spare. They have plenty of it. Uh, I, love, I love apes. I think everyone loves apes. Apes are one of the steps of being considered human or what we understand as humans, as ourselves. Lucy, Lucy has uh, something that sets her apart from this cute and clever ape. She had the ability to imagine what the stone is going to become. That's the huge difference. To imagine the chopper that cuts the toughest meat. That was the main difference from Lucy, from any other ape. Right? Likewise, humans can imagine and create artificial, artificial intelligence of all kinds. But AI, like apes, can imagine from scratch. Only humans can create real, really something from scratch and imagine in the, first, in the first place. Years ago, it has discovered that there is an area uh, of the prefrontal, prefrontal cortex unique to humans. This is shown in this uh, picture. Uh, it's just about the eyebrows and with a multitude of connections. It's a very special area of the brain uh, that deals with the more complex areas, human areas of the brain, precisely those that make us as we know as human, areas that mm, sells self-awareness, emotions, creativity, planification, innovation, in, of primary impulses on cooperative work that we can see a lot of here in, in work in Europe, for example. I'm referring to this red area, uh, unique to humans, absolutely unique to humans, responsible for all these very important and cognitive differences, okay? Named as ventrolateral frontal cortex area, the red one, the red area. This, this is the name, the current name. The prefrontal area of the cortex is vitally important for everything that distinguishes us as evolved humans. And one of them is the ability to analyze different points of view, to reason, even to disagree. As you can disagree from me. Okay. While well, talking about this, uh, I remember yesterday we had uh, an interview with a person of the UWPU Tavern. We were talking about all the concerns we have about the AI and the results of what is going to, to be, what is going to happen after the actual AI uh, events, new AIs, new generative AIs, and so on. Well, we are talking about, about AI, because there are a lot of things related to AIs. I think more and more there is very special important in learning. We must put the focus always in learning for the next generations, in education, as the source of our humanity. humanity. That's, for me, the more important part the, in order to talk about the AI. What's that? Calculator, no? Right, OK. It will, I think we all agree that it's a tool. It's a great tool. Same thing. It's a tool, OK? And this other is a tool, OK? Right? They all are tools, including artificial intelligence. They are tools that are very good tools for all of us. All of these things are tools that help us to automate tasks and consequently to avoid repetitive tasks and disable tasks, as almost. But, Yes, there is a but. 
there are some bats. This is my first bat. Uh, there is nothing magical related AI, in my opinion. AI has been uh, used to reproduce a simulation of how to enlarge a Van Gogh painting, for example, by mimicking this art. And I have been in reinterpreted it Van Gogh's self-portraits. But only Van Gogh was able to create art. That's the main difference. The AI cannot imagine the world around us, even if I can interpret it. Can interpret it, can make uh, copies or similar copies, but cannot imagine the world. Only human is being to, or capable to imagine our world and its essence, and the future essence of the world, not the actual essence of the past essence of the world. The AI is very capable to work about things or yet created, but not to be created. When we talk about artificial intelligence, we are accepting two lies, two main lies. One, there is no real intelligence but machine learning. In reality, it's machine learning. We learn from human, new, 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 oh, excuse me, with human knowledge and intuition. And it's not really artificial, either because it's created by humans. To imitate humans, but created by humans. So it's not at all artificial, OK? Because uh, it's also among, uh, the intuition, uh, almost among the intuitions of uh, ambitions of the human being to achieve an improvement version of himself, of ourselves. It has been an ambition for, for human being from years, from decades. Right? And there's nothing wrong born uh, with it. Uh, but there are some truths about the AI too. And we must remember, there are nice tools. All things we can assume, we can agree, we can assume it. It's a very nice tool. They can automate processes and avoid repetitive fields. It's okay. We are all okay about it. But we can agree at this or 21st century calculators. It's a very, very good tool for all of, one, all of us. I don't know who's the person who's the minutes. Okay. Okay. The timing. Ah. I don't know if I am on time or not. Excuse me. Excuse me. Well, another bat. Another bat. It has uh, some peculiar behaviors. AI is, uh, they are very peculiar. Another behaviors they have is, is that not empathy and emotional intelligence? There is absolutely human. There are no empathy. You, look at, you cannot wait uh, for empathy from a, uh, uh, excuse me from the AI, okay? It's biased, depending on what program they are. That's the reality. It's always is someone behind the AI. The AI, at this moment, can create itself. It's okay. And it will make you answers just to please you. You can take the AI to you, or near to you, in order to discuss with you, and you are always to have the reason, the, the last reason, because the AI tends to place you everywhere, okay? And if you pressure, it will agree with you, even if it's a lie. Because um, I think the, the first people who program, uh, who code an AI, it was a mother. Because you know, you know that mother always said their daughters, Please, daughter, be nice. And at the end, I think it's the, the first and main uh, mandatory command to every AI, be nice. And at the end, all AIs are going to be nice to you. Another bad, yes, there are more bads. Another bad is okay, they are good tools to everyone, or we are, can we okay, but should have people should use tools to any point in this evolutionary process, do you know, do you think everyone should use these tools? Everyone. Everyone of us here could be. We are going to remember this picture about the prefrontal context, okay? 
there is a problem. The problem when we use these tools is uh, that these tools uh, were not well established prior training all the novelists. I am trying to understand, to, to explain. They tend to disperse our attention. And it is not very important for us, the adults, humans, the human adults, but it's different for child, for child. This is especially serious for children. This is the same thing as the social media connection, the social media platforms. They disperse our attention and the, these, immediate, these immediate responses are not good for any human and especially not good for children. And we must take care for our children because the children are the future of the humanity, are the future of the society we know. And we must maintain at least our ethics in every aspect of our life, not thinking about us that we are adults, but thinking about what, 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 what we want to let to our children. And the, the way we treat these tools, or we deal with these tools, is going to be very important in order what world we are going to be, we are going to have, excuse me. When we have calculators, uh, computers, smartphones to children, we are stopping them to from learn from the basic, basics about how calculations are, how computing is, how to code, okay, how, how communications really works. Re communication are not at uh, infinite scroll, like on TikTok. There are a lot of child and adults that are absolutely, absolutely leaded by the uh, infinite scroll. Okay. 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 Thank you. <laughs> uh, what is ah, okay? TikTok. TikTok leads us to the infinite scroll. Our communication leaded by infinite scroll with your parents, your related, your friends. Your, no, it's not even. We must educate the new generation to really good communication, no social media communication or AI communication. The, their, import, their, their importances are different for human importances. Their algorithms are programs in order to get you inside the tool, not to use the tool. Okay? Uh, these tools are great for engineers, mathematicians, and any other technical professionals. Uh, no one can imagine a mathematician without a calculator or a coder without a computer or include chat GPT. But a computer, a, um, a programmer knows how to code and can use these tools in order to help him or her to code better, or to, uh, to code faster, not to code better. But, but they, he, you need to know how to code in the first place, okay? Uh, always knowing what is doing, what is doing the tool. You must know all to, uh, what, the, what, uh, how works, how the tool works inside the tool. It's very important for us. Uh, we live in an open source community. We work all uh, about open source. We work with WordPress. Uh, we must demand that uh, uh, at least uh, the society, the, the political, uh, in our institutions, if they are going to use AIs the, AIs, the AIs must be open source because we need to, to know where the data is going to, to go, where it's going to be stored, or how it's going there to use our data. Okay? And we, have done, we, we haven't to embrace any AI by the capabilities. Yes, but uh, we must uh, get inside the, the tool in order to know how it is working in order to give us uh, responses, answers about our questions, but, but what the tool is going to do with our data, with our questions and with our answers. We are, we is, I am very pro-technology, I'm very pro-AI, but I need to know where are they going to, to do with my data. And we must demand it. We can demand it uh, to every plugin, or WordPress plugin or WordPress theme. We must demand it to the, for the AI.
okay? And especially for our children. We can be totally flow about our, our data, but not about our children's data, okay? Uh, well, it's the same problem when sometimes someone tries to develop. I was trying to, to, talking about it. They are not going to teach us how to code. And at the last moment, we could indeed uh, forbid or forget how to code. It, let, it will always let the, the AI code for us. This is especially bad for children. They are not going never to learn how to code. So we must use the tools in order to, as a tool, not as a replacement of a coder, okay? Uh, in reality, we don't know how to, how know how to program WordPress, okay? Uh, it will waste a lot of time because it's, we lack the context. If all, someone of you have uh, used uh, any AI tool to help you to code, you know that you, are, you need to always check and debug always the, the code. It's different than like the joke, no? So, in at least. Well, I think the, the right path uh, is to be uh, allows the proper development of the prefrontal codex, for, especially for children. Uh, and the, the correct appro uh, approach is to first know the basics in order to take advantage of the efficiency offered by these useful and really efficient tools. They are very efficient, very useful, but we know the we need to turn to learn to teach and learn the basic in order to know how to use correctly. And for us, uh, it's our responsibility, our, our society, to offer not the solution or the answers, but the questions and challenges that will allow the brains of the new generations to reach even greater limits of knowledge, awareness, and sustainability. Uh, do we want to continue to have great creators and artists of the future? This is a question that we must all must do to, to, everyone, to us. Do we want to make the, a difference as Lucy and others or our ancestors did? Let us teach, let us, let us, all of us, teach the new generations to create these new tools, the new assistants, the new no artificial, no intelligence of the future instead the new AIs of the future. But we let us, uh, the children, learn how to build the new tools for the future. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Fernando. Excuse me by the, about the intensity of the questions and the lack of answers. <laughs> so um, we have a, 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 well, uh, quite a few minutes uh, for Q&A. So if you have a question for Fernando on the uh, rehumanizing the web, um, we have two microphones in the aisles. Yeah. There or there. And, uh, Please make sure that you keep the questions short so we get all the questions answered. So we must go to make the, the form, picture, no? Hmm? Today is the, the community picture. Right, but we have still time. So okay. what's your question? Hello, Fernando. Thank you for your talk. Thank you very much. Easy and quick. Um, humanity is making great tools, like you mentioned, AI, uh, but it's also the same with social networks, and they all are lacking the attention, the retention of attention of humans. So do you think like, uh, we should put the same effort like, cre like creating these new tools in education offline to empower the, um, the creation and new way of thinking on, on child? Mm -hmm. Because AI, yes, it gives a lot of good code, but also people use them like not understanding what, what are the solutions that is bringing these tools. So do we... Do we, do we put the same effort on creating this new, new, so a new way of education? Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for, uh, for the question. I think we must put more effort in order to educate not only our children, our children, but ourselves. Because we can think about ourselves that we are already educated to deal with these new tools or, or platforms. But that's not the truth. You can see a child 
a 12-year-old child and a 50-year-old no child using the same way TikTok. And this not, is a problem of education in the child, but in the adult too. So we must educate not only the children, the adults too. There is no uh, book on instructions in order to use the social media, for example, because the people who want us inside the social media don't want that us, we know how to deal with these uh, tools. They want us to consume the tool, not use the tool. We must educate in the first place ourselves and afterward child. I think. Good. Um, oh, next question. Uh, uh, good morning. My name is Stefan, and I'm song maker. And I'm going through the trains with my guitar, and I want I sing my songs very quiet. And I saw that there is no talking anymore. Everybody is looking in the smartphones. Nobody talks with me, and I present my songs, and I want to know what can we do that people talk again together? What, what, what can we do? Excuse me. What can we do that people talk again together more in the public? Oh, I, I don't have that, 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 an answer to that question. It's too much, in the, too much deep for me, sorry. We can, we can talk afterwards to to, to reach to some point, but I, I, know, I, I don't have a, an answer for your question at the moment. I prefer to talk with you afterwards in order to, to understand better. Excuse me. Next question. Hola, Fernando. Uh, Hello. Do you think we need to rethink and reshape the method methodology and the structures of the educational system? And if so, where should we start? I don't think so. I, I, I don't think the human creativity must flow freely. By my, I, we must be, can be able to, to understand the, the, new, the new challenges and to take enough time for us and for new generations to think about what new technologies are giving us, are giving us at the moment and what cannot give us. What are the pros, what are the cons of every technology. This is a, it's a matter of time and is the, is the more, uh, the more, priceless, the more uh, priceless, uh, uh, good in, in, in the air, time. So it's very difficult to deal with it. We need, we need more time in order to assume what is happening around us because everything goes too fast, too fast, too fast. There are no easy response. <laughs> so more reflection. Time. We need time. All right. Next question. Thank you. Hello, oh. Fernando. Hello. I am a robot and didn't like your talk. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. No, just kidding. Thank you. You're very brave, man, to say that about artificial intelligence. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Hello, Fernando. Thank you for Hello, the talk. Hello, thank you. Uh, I wanted to ask you, how do we balance being humans yeah. and being creative with staying competitive in the age of AI? Because I think in the end, if we're not going to be competitive, mm. the end user is not going to be romantic yeah. you know, and just choose something because it's done by humans. You know, just like with a car. You prefer a car that it's better, not a car that it's... You were made. made. Yeah, yeah, with the hammer by a guy here in, in Fiat uh, building, you know? So how do we find that, that balance? Yeah. You know, strive for uh, humanness and competitiveness, you know, the, integrating the tools. The eternal battle between the vintage or the well-made things and quickly made things, no, or efficiently made things. Uh, it's a very good question, a very, a very good a new opt optic and topic to talk about what is going to, to happen with the new works. There are a lot of people that are going to lose their works as in the past with the industrial revolution. And I think AIs are going to get rid of us 
a lot of non-useful, useful, uh, unuseful uh, steps or stacks, but not the, the most important. I think artisans are going to have a place always, as of now. Uh, I can give you examples, for example, the vinyls uh, in front uh, versus the CDs. Today, have more future uh, an LP on vinyl than on CD because of the new, because of the streaming. It's very strange, but uh, ten years ago, no one gives a dollar a back for for a vinyl. And at this moment, vinyls are, are refloating as an industry. I think it's the same for craftsmen or artisans. At the end, they are going to be. Uh, goods for, consum for consumption and goods to enjoy. And in a society that uh, is going to be more enjoyable, uh, I think everyone who is capable to make a product and products that make enjoy people by the craftsmen or the arts or the style uh, is going to, to have always a good job. Thank you. Thank you. Elio. Hola, Fernando. Hola, Elio. Um, so um, m I have two questions. One is, uh, it's okay. how, do you, how do you draw the line between, because AI is coming, whether we like it or not. So how do you draw the line between, between uh, introducing AI into our lives and uh, the overly reliance on, the, on them? And the second was, uh, do you know of any examples of companies around the web that are already working on rehumanizing the, this? Uh, 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 companies that are going and now doing what? That are already working on this, as you say, rehumanizing the web. Uh, well, uh, the most people I, I, I hear about rehumanizing the web is uh, the most of them are CEOs of ex CEOs of startups, AI startups, that knows how the world, the tool works, and they are noticing all of the, all of us about the risks of the AIs. Not companies, but but persons. And I don't know where to put the draw the, the draw the line. The line. I don't know. If. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. Fernando, the question, um, you Ciao, Jorge, use Jorge. Obrigado. AI as a tool. Excuse me. Uh, you use AI as a tool, hmm? using for what? No, no, I, I, can, I can hear you the, the second part of your question. Put the mic... Uh, uh, in another way. Uh, mm -hmm. AI is a tool. Yeah, okay. Just like a calculator. Okay. In this moment, you are using it for doing what? Ah, me? Yep. Ah, for nothing. 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 <laughs> I, I don't want to use it because I need time. I need time to, to learn how to use uh, correctly the, the AIs. I am, I am very pro-technology. I, I work, my work uh, wasn't, uh, doesn't exist when I born. And there are a lot of people um, older than 30 years old that our work, actual works didn't exist when we were. And I am very protect because I work thanks to new technologies. But I take my own time to learn the new technologies in order how to know how to use them properly. I had tried uh, Gem, Gemini, I had tried, but very little, in a very, very little effort. I need to try them. I, I need to know more about how they work in the inside. And I prefer to try, in the first place, open source AIs, that there are a lot of plenty of them. But at this moment, I write by my own. I am a blogger, I am a writer, and an artisan of thinking. <laughs> Nothing more. Thank you so much. All right, thank you so much. And I have a little present oh, for you. Very good. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.